Hello and welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing a Korean masterpiece of filmmaking called I Saw the Devil. I Saw the Devil is a Korean movie from 2010 and I tell you what, you cannot pigeonhole this movie into any one genre. It's a drama. It's a horror movie. It's a fucking action movie. It's so many things and it's just fucking amazing. The movie starts out, there's a guy, he's a government agent. He's some guy like secret agent, maybe secret service, they don't exactly specify. But anyway, you know he's a bad motherfucker if he's working for the Korean government. He's on the phone with his fiance. She's out on a snowy road going to visit a fucking orphanage for charity reasons and all this shit. Her car gets a flat, she gets stuck in a ditch. Next thing you know, creepy motherfucker comes by, hey, let me help you, whatever. She's like, no, 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 no. And her fucking boyfriend tells her, hey, but don't let that fucker wait for the tow truck, wait for the tow truck. And she's smart. She actually fucking does. Unlike American fucking horror movies where everybody does the dumbest shit possible, she's fucking smart. She rolls up the window, she says, no thanks, whatever. Next thing you know, this motherfucker's beating the windshield in with the crowbar. Smashes that shit out, smashes the window out, he's in the fucking car. Nothing this fucking lady could have done, man. She's fucking dead. But, like I said, her fiancé was a bad motherfucker, also her father was a ex-police chief so you know these motherfuckers ain't gonna let this go by long story short the father he gets the four suspects including one of them really is a killer he gives the list to the to the fiance bad motherfucker korean james bond he starts tracking these motherfuckers down beating the shit out of them torturing them finding out hey who's the real killer finally he does find the fucking lair of the killer he sees some evidence he fucking knows hey this is the fucking guy and he's killed a bunch of other people too this evil motherfucker at about the hour mark of the movie he catches the guy he fucking confronts him the guy's getting ready to fucking rape some young girl and kill her too he stops him he beats the shit out of him you think man fucking great great but in most movies this would be the movie would end it but really in this movie this is where the movie's fucking beginning instead of just killing this motherfucker he beat, I mean, he beats the shit out of him, he throws him in a grave, but then he throws a fucking pile of money on him. And the guy wakes up like, what the fuck, I'm still alive? And he finds a pile of money, he's like, holy shit. He takes some money, he fucking goes on the run. What's crazy is, when this motherfucker was knocked out, our hero, he fucking put a capsule down this motherfucker's throat, made him swallow it. It's a tracking device, and it's a microphone device, so he can listen on everything this motherfucker's doing. And he has this plan where he's gonna fucking go, and he's gonna follow this motherfucker, and right before he's about to do an evil fucking killing or something, he's gonna bust him, beat the motherfucker's ass, beat him within an inch of his life, and then leave him fucking alive and leave, so he can come back and do it again and again. So he catches the motherfucker, he beats him, he fucking whips the shit out of him, he fucking... Caves this motherfucker skull in, but it, you just within an inch of his life every time. Finally, this killer's going fucking crazy, man. Fucking, you know, how is this guy doing this? Fucking whatever. He figures out the bug trick, and then he, and then the fucking killer's so pissed off. And you know, I'm not going to go in any more of the movie. A lot of twists, a lot of turns. Fucking great. But the thing about this movie is, it's so fucking hardcore. The on-screen violence, they show shit. There's no cutaway fucking bullshit. This movie's unrated. Wherever it needs to go, this movie, it's gonna fucking go there to make the most effective movie possible, goddammit. That's what I'm talking about. The dramatic scenes, they're fucking long and thought out and well played by the actors. Lots of motion. The horror scenes, they're fucking grisly. They're fucking gruesome. They make you want to turn your head. They're so fucking hardcore. The action scenes, man. Fucking the way this hero fights. He fucking climb up walls, kick motherfuckers. And he never needs a gun, nothing. I think the only weapon he used the whole movie was a fucking screwdriver. He's that badass. When I watched this, it just lit a fire in me. It just fucking made me appreciate what real film is about. I know in America, we like to have the hardest, darkest, grayest, PG-13 entertainment that we can get and you know we watch these movies and they're kind of effective and the story kind of gets you but then they always puss out and they always pull back and they always make sure it's okay and then you ain't going to know what the fuck's going to happen in this movie till it happens and you're going to be shocked fucking probably half a dozen times in this movie man this was not made to sell fucking cups of Burger King action figures nothing this is just a real piece of filmmaking and hey I know how in America, you know, we like to get all excited by product tie-ins and everything being the most popular or whatever. And you know what? I'm about as guilty of it as anybody. You know what? I bought a fucking box of Amazing Spider-Man cereal. But you know what? Fuck this. What does this have to do with the movie? It's a box of cereal. It's not a movie. It doesn't make the movie any better. I saw your devil. The only way you can really sum this movie up if you're trying to tell your buddy about it, give him to watch it, just say, hey man, watch it. And you know why? Because it's a master fucking piece. One of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. I love it, man. Cannot give it, it would be a crime to give it any less than 
10 out of 10. Picture and sound, like I said, movie's beautifully shot. And the great thing here is this is a fucking awesome kick-ass Blu-ray. The fucking picture quality is so crisp, it's so clear, the colors are so fucking vibrant. And that's what I'm getting at, man. In fucking America, we gotta be so spoon-fed with shit. Oh, it's a serious movie? Well, the whole movie's gotta look great. Use a gray background, get a gray sky, fucking have the main actor wear a gray shirt. And that's how you know it's a serious movie. Nah, fuck it, man. You don't need that bullshit. What you need is pretty visuals. There's scenes of snowy fields in this movie where bad shit is happening. I mean, just, it's fucking amazing, man. It's just a beautiful feast for the eyes. And the Blu-ray comes across big time. The sound, DTS HD Master Audio, fucking great. And every fucking sound, you know, and panning effect in this movie sounds 100% real. It doesn't even sound like good sound coming out of your speakers. It sounds like real shit happening. I thought my motherfucker was climbing up behind my fucking couch going to slip my throat. That's how fucking real it was. One of the best Blu-rays I've seen, man. Really. Gotta give it 9.5 out of 10 picture and sound. Special features. Now the thing is, this is a Korean film, so you, you know, and this is American distributor put this version out, so you're not going to have all the access that like a studio movie would have to their own movie, but it's okay. They got about 26 minutes of deleted scenes, a lot more kind of connective tissue, you know, not really filler, but just little pieces of other scenes, but there is one good scene in there that explains, uh, a supporting character that I wanted to know about while more about while I was watching the movie and they go into like kind of who she was and her backstory so I, I did like seeing that deleted scene also there's like a 27 minute making of a lot of uh, little rough behind the scenes footage you know a lot of it has to do with the stunt coordinator how he got all this shit a couple little brief things with the actors it's good it's not amazing but you know it's it, it's good you do get some fucking idea what the movie was like special features not the most amazing disc, but for a foreign release, at least there was something good on there. Special features, I gotta give it 6 out of 10. So if you're a real fucking film lover, and I know a lot of you motherfuckers watching this shit is, do yourself a favor. Your fucking life, your fucking Blu-ray correction, fucking whatever, is not complete until you fucking see and witness the brilliance of I Saw the Devil. Shit is so fucking hardcore, I swear to God you're gonna shit your pants. What the fuck else could you want? Mm.